Another important notion that is very much related to closure operators is that of a closure system. So a closure system over some set M is a family of sets that includes M and is closed under intersection. Which means that whenever it contains two sets A and B, it must also include their intersection. It turns out the set of concept intents of a formal context forms a closure system. So M, the set of all attributes, is always a concept intent. And if you have two concept intents, the intersection is going to be a concept intent, an intent of some other concept. And the same is true about concept extents. If we have two concept extents, the intersection must be the extent of some formal concept. Now for the relation to closure operators. It turns out that given a closure operator, the, the set of all its closures, that is the set of all sets closed with respect to this closure operator, forms a closure system. So the set of all elements, the universal set, is always closed under any closure operator, and so it belongs to the system. And then if you take two sets closed under the closure operator, the intersection must also be closed under this closure operator. This is not too difficult to prove, but I'll leave the proof for you. And there's a similar relation in the other direction. So if we have a closure system C defined on M, we can define a function that takes a subset X of M and maps it to the smallest superset C of X that belongs to the closure system. It turns out that this function is a closure operator. 